Have you ever wanted to change the depths really, really quickly with your baits? Let's say you're on a kayak or you're fishing on a boat, you've marked the fish at a certain depth, but you're trying to figure out how to get down there. Well, I'll tell you what. If you know how to count your line and how long it is approximately, all you need to do is while the kill zone is on your line, as you know, open it up a little bit, let the line slide through, slide it all the way up, close it up there, exactly at the depth where the fish are at, boom, put it over the kayak's edge or the boat, let it down, you're in the depth range. You are in the strike zone. You are in the kill zone. How's it going fishermen and fisherwomen out there in the world? You ever wondered how to get around making so many fishing knots when you guys are constantly using a three-way rig like this? You gotta do one knot up here, one knot over here, one knot down over here too. It gets really tiring after a while and that's why nowadays we've got the new kill zone fishing system. This thing is gonna change the way that you fish three-way rigs or even your Carolina rigs. You can switch over between each one very quickly and easily. We're gonna talk about that right now. Here's how you open it, okay? Index finger right here, thumb over here, thumb on this one right here, index finger in the back, using it, boom. Push only with your thumbs, use the index fingers for support. You're gonna separate it into two pieces. Click it back together. This is how you rig the Killzone fishing system. Here we have 30 pound fluoro coat. And what I'm gonna do now is, it's so simple, that it made me feel stupid. You got your kill zone right here, right? Here we got the kill zone. We're gonna put our line, as you can see, we're gonna feed it right through here. Not through that hole, but through the other hole right there. Not through that hole either. There we go. So you see, right through here, you can see it through here. We're gonna feed it through like this. Now, let's find a depth where we wanna put this at, okay? So let's say I wanna put it up about 18 inches from my bait. Real quick and easy. Now I get this second piece right here that you guys have been wondering what the heck do I do with the second piece, right? And we're going to look for the line over here. We're gonna find that line right here. We're gonna feed it. You see it goes through here, over here. Now we're just gonna close. Boom, the kill zone, it makes click. And there you go, it's on there. Now we want a leader and this is where it becomes essential. Now I highly recommend you guys make the Snelled hooks at home with, you know, let's say this is an 8 odd Gamakatsu circle hook. I've Snelled it right here and I've got about the same pound line on here and I've attached a barrel swivel right here about 100, I'd say about 110 pound strength barrel swivel to a 150 pound clip. Now I highly recommend you use something smaller than this. This is a little bit on the larger side but that's because I was testing this rig against saltwater fish. So what do we do now? Very quick and easy. Pop that clip right through there. Close the clip. Boom, there you go. So now, we've got our kill zone right here. We've got a stopper bead down here, you know, to another one of these barrel swivel clip setups. And you can make these really quickly with simply, as you know, a barrel swivel and a clip. Just open the clip on both sides, pop the barrel swivel through, close it again, you're good. Now let's get the weight. And all we gotta do now is, <laughs> it's so simple. It's crazy, huh? Attach the pyramid singer right there. There's our weight. Now we go further up on the line. Let it go through. And there we go. We've got our hook right there on our leader line. Let's say you break off. In my case the other day, I had a very toothy saltwater critter come by and say, hey, I like your piece of squid. And this is the kind of hook that he stole. A saltwater nine-odd circle hook. And guess what? This is 80 pound mono. He just literally bit right through. So what did I do? I'm gonna unclip this leader. I'm tired of you sharks. <laughs> and I beat them at their own game. What's that? 124 pound steel wire with a hay wire barrel twist. Yep, that's simple. Let's say the fish are becoming a little bit more finicky. They're not hitting it just on a normal three-way rig. Well, I guess what? You can go down to the bottom real quick, turn this into a Carolina rig. All we gotta do is literally just unclip this real quick, take our leader off, take this clip out, just like that, pop the line to the side, close the kill zone, attach our leader again. Boom, now the kill zone can move freely along the leader line, down there to the stopper bead, so you know it doesn't smash into the weight that hard. And you know when he's taking line, it'll take line this way, 
And there you go, the resistance of the lead will usually already set the hook pretty good for you, the circle hook. Boom, the moment that lead hits that kill zone, you've got direct contact with the fish hook set. Either a three wig, Carolina rig, however you want to do it, simple, quick, easy. Now the kill zone system of course has its limitations as every product does, so I highly recommend that you don't use any fishing line when it comes to a fluorocarbon or copolymer or monofilament below 10 pounds about all the way up to 80 pounds. It'll still be good between those ranges, anywhere from 10 to 80. When it comes to braid, 50 pound or 65 pound like this end up will work too. If you want to get in on this while it's still pretty inexpensive, you want to give these a try. $6.38 for five that come in a bag. You're going to get a nice little bag with five of these in it. And soon enough, if you really like them, guess what? We're going to be selling bulk. So go to the website right here. Check the link on Amazon down below in the description. Go check out the Killzone fishing system. Kills on fishing system. It puts you in the strike zone. Go check it out. Order yourself some. It's going to change the way that you fish forever.